How's it going everyone? Today I have a troubleshoot video on After Effects. As you know, After Effects has a lot of crashes, errors, rendering problems, and I pretty much know all of them, or at least understand all the bypasses for most of them. So let's get right into this and let me show you some of my methods in order to prevent rendering issues and problems in After Effects. So the first thing you'll see is I have a lot going on on this timeline. Right here, you can see there's a bunch of layers, a bunch of effects. Sometimes when you're rendering, it may crash or say error, couldn't render anymore. So it could be due to heavy loading of effects, lots of layers, lots of masking, lots of stabilizing, all that stuff. So one of the best methods that I love to do once my project is ready to get rendered is called pre-rendering. Pre-rendering basically will take your composition, render it out and replace it on your timeline. So right here, you can see we have around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight layers right here. So before I render this, I'm going to pre-compose this. I'm gonna move all the attributes and adjust composition duration. You wanna make sure you get all your effects, all your layers that are connected in this sequence together for this pre-comp. So I'm gonna pre-compose this, go into that pre-comp, and we go up here to composition and go to pre-render. So now I have my clip in the pre-render mode, which is gonna render and replace it on my timeline. So I don't adjust any of the settings. I want it to render as is, how it's gonna render, and I'm literally gonna press render, wait for it to finish, and then on my timeline, just like these layers right here, and you'll see right here, it replaces it with an AVI file. So now all the effects are inside this one layer. So you no longer have pre-comps and you can avoid the rendering issues under heavy load if you have a big project and you need to do this method. So sometimes I do this for my whole entire composition. You can even connect a few comps at a single time, pre-compose, add them to a pre-comp, and then go in there, composition, pre-render if you need to or you really want to do this and you may be wondering what if i pre-render but i want to change something later on and i can't because it's an avi file well the simple answer is you just need to go into your project settings find that composition it'll most likely be named your composition so like this one was 49 so let's scroll down here and find composition 49 and then right here we have the original composition with all the layers all the things i did so if you ever need it you can just find it right here and you can drag it right back into your timeline so don't worry about that. There's always a method and it's not rendering and deleting that composition. It's just storing it away. Another problem when it comes to rendering is your GPU could be lacking or it's just not handling your render at all. So you can go over here to your project settings and you can change this from CUDA or OpenCL and change it to Mercury software only. This will prevent a lot of your GPU problems when you're rendering. Um, this is a little thing. It does. I've noticed that this doesn't really change dramatically in the speeds of working in After Effects. So you can go ahead, change that to this. That should solve a lot of problems as well. Another thing to note, if your After Effects is crashing, you need to make sure your cache folders are big enough to handle all the editing and files you're doing. So right now, just on this project alone, I'm gonna open up my cache and I'm gonna show you how many gigabytes are just in this project alone. So right now I'm at 1300 gigabytes, 1334 gigabytes on this project. What the cache is, it's basically saving your preview, saving your effects, saving all the previews you did, which is this green line up here. It's saving that into a cache so you can always quickly preview, edit how you need. So cache is very important. I would recommend having an internal hard drive that can handle a lot of cache. So this project is around 45 seconds long and it's not even finished yet. And it's at 1300 gigabytes. So to adjust your cache, go to edit, preferences, media and disk cache. This will open up your cache folders where you can choose your hard drives, where you wanna save everything. So in my case, I have my D drive is just cache only. So I have a couple terabytes just for my cache. So that's why I've allowed a large amount of cache in my folder and you can empty it from here or you can go to edit, purge, all cache and do it from here. And once you do that, just give it a couple seconds. It'll clear all that cache. You'll notice your timeline will no longer have the green bars because it's basically removing that cache and it could be removing any old previews you had. So if you're no longer previewing stuff, there might be a lot of unused cache in here. So if your After Effects is running slow, you can't ramp preview, it's not previewing, it stops and just replays a small portion. This could be the reason why. It's because your cache is full and it no longer can store anything else. There's one more thing to adjust, which is your RAM. So let's go to preferences and go down to memory and performance. This is where you'll see all your allocated RAM for Adobe softwares. So you can max this out. I'm pretty sure it'll stop for any user. It'll stop at a certain amount, but RAM reserved for other applications basically means if you have Google open or any of the other softwares open while you're editing, this is how much RAM will be allocated just for those softwares. So I have 128 gigs of RAM and I'm basically gonna use as much as I can, which is 116 gigabytes. 
12 gigabytes is more than enough for Google and all those softwares, so I'm okay with having only 12 extra. Furthermore, if you have this performance enable multi-frame rendering available to you, I would definitely check that. If your After Effects is really struggling or crashes a lot and you just don't know why, then I would disable this. But in my case, this is so much more important and beneficial to you. So CPU reserved for other applications, at least leave 10% in my experience, maybe 20% if you're feeling a little bit spooky. So this will basically allow you to render while not doing anything. So let's say I want to render this. You can see right here or RAM preview it, not render it, my bad. If you want to RAM preview it, it will automatically start RAM previewing for you, even when you're not doing anything. So if I pressed play, it would start rendering this and anything else it can ahead of the thing or behind. So if I just leave this here for a while, it'll eventually start rendering all this out for the RAM preview. That's just one more thing that can help out your speed and flow in After Effects. So I want to go back to rendering problems. When it comes to rendering, there's always issues. There's always effects failing, layers failing, compositions failing. When you render and you find a certain point that is not rendering past that point, say it says frame 500 out of 1000, the 500th frame might have something that needs to get looked at. So I like to pre-render. So say right here is the 500th frame. You can check right here. So we can go to, for just for example, we can go to the 500th frame right around here and see what could be affecting that. So right here, I have a heavy effects in a pre-comp, lots of masking, blurs, all kinds of stuff. So if I fail to render at around that time and it happened twice or just one time, you can just go ahead and say, you know what, instead of dealing with this headache and figuring it out, I'm gonna see if it's the 500th frame the first time. So I'm going to take this composition, pre-compose it, and then I'm going to pre-render this comp. Pre-render. Just so I can avoid those issues, and you can break it down slowly and find the problems in your project itself. So when it comes to rendering, if you're failing a lot of renders and it's just not working, I would try the pre-render method first. If you pre-rendered a few comps already and it's still doing it, keep pre-rendering all of them. That's the best way to make sure you have no issues. Because if you pre-render everything and everything's just a AVI file, MP4, whatever it is, and you're still crashing, it could be a bigger issue than that. Such as motion blur, heavy plugins, could be a lot of things, but that's my number one way to figure out these rendering issues. Another tip you need to know, if your After Effects does have problems when you get into heavy editing, lots of effects, lots of layers, you wanna save a copy of your project every time. So I have this project and I'm gonna go save as, you're gonna go to file, save as, and then go save a copy and then you can save a copy of your project, basically like a checkpoint. So if you're like, oh, I like this stuff, before I render, just in case I crash, blue screen, whatever it could be, I'm gonna save a copy. So just in case this file gets corrupted from a random crash, at least I have a copy of it and I didn't lose hours of editing. Another cool thing you can do is if you go down here on your timeline and you hover over this button right here and you click it, you can see what's taking up the most amount of energy in your After Effects project. So it won't show right now just because a lot of things are happening, but you can see the speeds are pretty fast. So right here is a pre-rendered composition. It's already an AVI file and you can see it's pretty quick. It's in the green um, on the rendering speeds and the preview speeds. But when I go to a different composition that has speed ramping, effects, all that stuff, you'll see it jumps up into the orange around 300 to 400, which means it's taking a heavier load. That's another way to find out how affected your compositions or layers are. Like this one is 561. And then we go to the pre-render, it's just way faster, way easier. So if you're ever good and you're like, cool, I like what I did in this comp, this layer right here, I'm just gonna pre-render it so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Do it. These are some of my tricks that basically solve a lot of the problems I have when it comes to rendering or After Effects crashing. There is a lot more scenarios, but it usually comes down to plugins, effects, overloading, and maybe your PC just struggling with it. But if you have any specific issues, leave a comment and I'll see if I can help. So like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.